throw, throw the scarf behind the shoulder. <laughs> okay, say your name. Monica Smith. Okay, I'll, I can spell that a bit. <laughs> Okay, you want to tell me what you're doing? Tell me, tell me what these are about. Um, these are about me trying to utilize my color knowledge. Um, I've been painting the figure, and over the summer, I realized that I was kind of trying to force color on the figure, and so I tried to just kind of make these intuitively um, and just not not preconceive what I thought they should be. Um, and just try to work with color interaction and you know juxtaposition of chromas and hues. Um, it's kind of a dense to sparse problem. They seem to work better with a lot of the brown paper showing, kind of acting as foil to the color. Um, that's, that's basically. I was asking Mr. Mead if you've done some of the white, some of the stark white paper. Um, it's hard for me to get it to work as well on the stark white paper with the pastels because they're so high in chroma um, that that high chroma against that stark white, it just jumps like crazy. So this brown kind of acts as my gray. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what I've been most successful with. Makes the chroma pop more. Mm -hmm. It does. And that way I don't have to Tone color the, the whole thing gray. Yeah. It's or already the paper there, and then right? Start. And yeah. also, the homogeneous brown kind of helps the color. I think that if I had to sit and kind of tone the paper, that it wouldn't really look like foil because it would still have that texture and mark to it. Um, so that's yeah, that's I think mm -hmm. these are a little, like little bit more interesting in the sense that they're a little bit more pattern that gives you a sense of the point. Mm -hmm. so they're pattern yeah. just, just enough to. Some of these get fuzzy and some of these I lose well, that these kind of implied grid. They kind and of oscillate back and forth, but those mm -hmm. are, uh, articulate the plane a little bit more. about how, how long do you spend on each one? Um, it kind of depends. You know, some of them happen really quickly. And, you know, I can do one of these in, say, you know, 15, 20, 30 minutes. But then some of them I'll work on for a couple hours just because they don't work. And then sometimes I have to give up. But I'm guilty of overworking things, usually. <laughs> so this semester I really try to just kind of do it and leave it alone. Um, I always overwork it and scrub it to death and lose it altogether. How do you translate these to larger pieces? Really, um, this kind of stuff I found that I can't take this exact thing and make it into a larger piece. It's kind of a intuitive, I have to find it um, because I can't say, oh, there's a blue spot right here because maybe it won't work and I mean, I don't really want to be that yeah, it's intellectual. Not like you want yeah, I don't Take want to transfer this it. Take a photo of this and transfer it into yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, So, these just kind yeah. of help with the this, layout. This one, I don't know which. Um, this book is the older, like the beginning of the semester. Oh, okay. Is there anything? I don't think there's anything. I don't know. I, I, I don't. <laughs> there's I some drawings at, in here. When I looked at the other day, it was in a different order. It is now somebody yeah. else's. Yeah. Okay.
Well, she's coming out of a figure. Mm -hmm. uh, to this. To this stuff. Mm -hmm. We still know Richard David Corn and High. <laughs> Corn, right? I regard him. I regard him. But David Corn. I see that starting from the figure and then mm -hmm. losing the two. Yeah. 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 And at one time, yeah, we talked about in these letting the figure come back and kind of emerge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe I just haven't tried it enough, but with the color. It's once I have a figure in there, I just can't. I lose the color altogether. It just I can't make it work. Um, but at the beginning of the semester, I started out doing monotypes, and I think that really helped my drawing because it got my shapes more graphic, and so I'm more comfortable doing this non-objective drawing. I've never been comfortable really doing that before, and I think that this has kind of helped me. Break out. It's easier for me to get contrast out of some of these later ones. And I think that's from the monotypes. We put monotype plates in May. What? After middle semester or something? I don't remember. I should have known like monotype. I got to take that out. Yeah. And that helped make it more graphic. All right. Okay, well, let's look at your big stuff. That's pretty much the big stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tell me what's going on in these. Um, these are monotypes that I just kind of put ink on the plate and played with it. Sometimes I press things like bubble wrap into it for pattern and texture. Um, and then those first ones, not so much these because they don't work. Um, I'll go back into it with charcoal or ink or paint or something like that and try to find figures in it or just, I don't know. T tell me how you make a monotype. Um, I use a glass plate. And I either use oil paint with thinner or printmaking ink, just plain black ink, and um, draw on the plate. Sometimes I take a cloth and wipe some away. And then you just print it on a sheet of paper. And I'm using a small plate, so I just press down on the back of the, or on the paper on the glass. And it transfers an image. Um, it's very easy to get these graphic puddles. I started out the semester making larger monotypes. Um, I think these might work a little better. Right, tell me what the word monotype means. Um, that you can just lift one, one print one from print. the plate. I know. I'm getting it. I want you to tell the audience. <laughs> I didn't know how to explain it. I was like, I don't know how to. A, mono a monotype is. A monotype is. <laughs> it's going to be an educational <laughs> These are just yeah, pastel okay. things. I don't need yeah. any more drawings Get back the here. And make one. <laughs> here, just say, tell me a monotype is. A monotype is. <laughs> a monotype is um, when you ink up a plate and you can only make one print from that plate. Okay. <laughs> I don't really know.